Okay, let's see. This is an interesting intro. I like the monochromatic with just a splash of color. Oh, paschial tissue. Oh, I read that as facial. What did you do to make those sore? This Mario Golf is on the Switch. It just released today. It's uh, Mario Golf Super Rush. And one of the modes is that you all like basically like tee off together so you can just basically no waiting turns or anything like it's more golf with your friend style where you just all bat off at the same time which seems very hectic and interesting but they also have like standard golf modes i think there's both controller and motion control support stream drop when you answer my question this is mario golf super rush on the switch it just released today Dropping again? I'm not dropping frames. So I'm guessing that's your internet, unfortunately. Oh no, he's gonna explode. Mario's ball is gonna land. Of course, Mario wins. Great game. Poor Bowser. Hey, Mario Golf Super Rush. Yeah. Just released today. I have not played it all. Literally the first time I started it. So I have no idea what's going on. Let's check the options. Um, yeah, this all seems fine. This all seems fine. Um, so we have golf or golf adventure. I don't know what the golf adventure is like. I might do that later. Let's play golf. Standard golf, speed golf, battle golf, or network play. If I do standard golf, I'll try button controls. Just the one. Shoot to compete over the lowest and take turns. Sure, I'll play with one human. And do we get to pick like cups? Okay, so yeah, there's gonna be like a few different green. Oh, I see. Okay, let's try out the rookie course and just see how it goes. So we can do three holes, six holes, nine holes, 18 holes. Sure, let's do 18 holes. We'll start at hole one, we'll do normal wind. We'll leave special shots on. Seems fine. Let's just try this out. So, shot making. Uh, special shot with L. Wrench finder with R. Shape shot, change club. Okay. Top view, set shot power. Okay, that seems fine. Press A again to set the power of your shot. A, A for top spin. A for standard spin, backspin, super backspin. Okay, the ball will usually roll farther after it lands. Carry as a shot's flight. 
Notice how far the ball rolls after it lands. Use the left analog stick to add curve to the shot before the club hits the ball. Okay. I'm setting a power of a shot. You can, okay. Well, that tip went away entirely too quickly. So there's barely any wind, just two meters per second. Downhill slope, 6.6 .6 meters. Okay. And, oh. Okay, that just shows. And we can just like hit straight for it, I guess. How will this do? It's been like forever since I played any like golf game. Low energy? Oh, it's... Okay. Distance? If I scan? Set aim? Oh, and then it shows me on the bar how far I need to hit to reach that. So now if I do this, should be pretty much in there, right? Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. Nice approach. I'm learning. Ready put, so we do this. And we aim and scan. And then we set our aim. Can I like get a top-down view or something? I can. Okay, but that's like really zoomed out. Mm, this is a bit awkward. Can I like... Okay, so everything is like the same elevation. Okay, that's way too hard. Wow, I'm terrible at this. Uh, what? I didn't want to... There we go. Okay. Wow, we got par on that. Okay. Well, that wasn't great. Let's try one more hole, and I think after that, I'm just going to go and jump into the story mode instead. Because I'll have learned a little bit of the controls. Uh, I guess what I want to try is... How do I add curve to it? I remember there was some way. Okay, and these are just for... The various... Um, okay, I wanted to do top-down view. Oh, uh, okay, so this is like the furthest I could hit it. So I want to aim something like that. Or alternatively, I could go like this. Uh, I feel like this is probably like the safer approach. Although... We have some wind, so let's slide a bit more over like this. What happens if I do a special shot? Smoke ball? Okay, what's that gonna do? I mean, it's shiny. Oh, and we got it straight in the bunker. That doesn't seem ideal. Also, that didn't really do anything special. I feel. Oh, and it's gonna be... Like, really wonky? 
So should we instead aim more to the side because it's going to curve? Okay, so I did curve. Nice. I guess what I kind of want to figure out next is how I add curve myself. Um, hold on, I can probably see it here, right? Right where I tell you start shot, shot type, aim shot, change club. If you're in trouble, you can take a penalty stroke and re-hit. No, that's not what I need. This does not really help me with what I needed to figure out. Oh, just over. Or alongside it, I guess. Maybe. Okay, and then I want to zoom in now. Same elevation. Of course, I want to use the putter here. And there we go. How did it end? Okay. So I kind of get it, but I don't really get how to do how to do curve shots yet, which I'm probably gonna need to learn how to do. Okay. Can I exit out of this? Wait. Yeah, back to main menu. Yeah. Okay, so rather than... Wait, let me check the golf guide, because that's going to say it again, right? Basics, learn how to swing a club, hit the ball, learn how to consider both carry and run. Maybe I should do some tutorials. Movement, nah. Curve shots, yeah, this is what I wanted to do. In addition to setting a power, you can also add curve to avoid obstacles and hazards, okay? After setting the power of a shot, use the elastic to add curve before the club hits the ball. Oh, so you have limited time to add the curve. Those for a little small amount. I wish you could practice that mechanic. Like, they would just let you go in and practice it for a bit, rather than just describe it. But whatever, it's fine. We'll, we'll do okay, right? Let's do Golf Adventure. Slot one. What? Do I have to wear the hat? Do I have to use a me? I hate using me's. I don't want to use my me. Fine. Hold on. I'll do this style. And I'll say okay. Sure. We're running a whole results in a score of triple par. Okay. Oh! I guess their story. So Bowser and Co. blast off, Mario wins. Great, we saw it in the opening. So we're watching that on TV, I guess. Or someone was. Hey, you turned off the worst possible time. What, the match was over. How is that the worst possible time? Oh, it looked like Mario's is one. Isn't that the end of the tourney? Uh, did you see how he won? That was ridiculous. I need to see a replay. Some slow-mo. Oh, sorry, Chuck. But remember, the welcome ceremony tomorrow is more important than watching TV. Hey, <laughs> Bertle's right. 
We should all get some good sleep tonight. I feel like we're going to need it. Thank you. I don't want everyone to have at least one sensible rookie in the house. Hmm, I'll sleep just fine. What about you? I didn't even know ghosts could sleep. You don't just fall through the bed. <laughs> Chuck, that's a rude question to ask a ghost. Anyway, I guess I'll go to bed too. I want to make a good impression at the welcome ceremony tomorrow. Mm, that's a good idea, dear. I hope you know... I know you're hoping to be one of the standouts in this rookie class. She cannot drag me. Sorry to that. You're always going to be playing catch with the real aviators. <laughs> Excuse me, you can't always win with power alone, you know. You've got to keep a level head and know when to lay up. Mm, you've both got it wrong. Finesse is the name of the game. Huh. Okay, hi. Oh, it's you. We've been waiting for you. Come join us, please. See, it just feels awkward that I'm this human me among these Mario enemies. Everyone, please allow me to introduce the final rookie in your group, Raxmi. You're a rookie too? How much did you over here? I mean, nice to meet you. Yes, the Golf Association calls to let us know that one more rookie would be arriving late. Now they're here. Right, so you, how far can you drive it, Rook? You want to tee it up and see who wins? Don't mind Chuck, he's got an oversized driver for a brain. Come on, everyone, you'll be learning together, so you might as well introduce yourselves properly. Okay, sure. Hey, Nim's charging Chuck. Hit the long bolt. Boom. Don't matter where it goes as long as it goes far. Giddy up. <laughs> Up to dead. Sure, great to meet another student of the game. Hope we can all learn from each other. And <laughs> boo. Ah, uh, boo. He <laughs> mm, That's it. Yeah, I'm out of here. You can lift anyway. If you want to hit the green, your biceps got to be me, says me. <laughs> well... I was on my way to bed. The most important thing for strong muscles is recovery. I don't understand the obsession with muscles that seem to plague those of you with physical bodies. Anyway, off the bat, he. If you don't have a physical body, why do you need sleep? Why? I don't get it. Also, I do like that the TV is basically a GameCube. Like the color scheme, the buttons. Kind of GameCube reminiscent. It's quite the crew we have here. All right, then. You must be exhausted. Why don't you head to your room as well and get some rest? Okay. Oh, but I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Bert, the camp house mama. You can even call me mama if you want. I'll pass. I'll just stick with Berto. My room is the one in the back. We've got the big welcome ceremony tomorrow. Get some rest. Okay. Sure. So... We can talk. We can just walk around here. We can go back to main menu. And that's it. Drawing track, boo. Okay, this is ours. Not much in this room. So I guess we'll turn in for the night. Meet the manager in front of the clubhouse. Okay. Ah, you're awake. Good day, Rexby. Oh, hello. How are you being rested? Did you get any good time? No. Oh, were you having nightmares about double bogeys? Save the thought. You're running late for the ceremony. Head outside and start straight down the road. Hurry. Okay, fine. Oh, one more thing. Everyone in town knows that we have a new class of rookies starting out. You have lots of eyes on you and some pretty high expectations. Just put your best foot forward and take it in stride. Good luck. Okay, sure. I guess we can get special clubs. Interesting. So, Bonnie Greens. Oh, nice church building. Oh, we can talk to random people. Oh no, people are setting up expectations for me. Okay, that's... Chrome badge is an above, okay. So I guess I need a chrome badge, whatever that is. I can just talk to some people who are just saying they're all golfers. Sure. You're working everyone's talking about, right? Bunning Rings is world class practicing areas and courses. Golfers travel from far and near to play here. Go ahead and burn over there as a deal of the map. Take a look. Okay. Sure, so we have the clubhouse, a cafe, a pro shop, 
rookie course, a practice area, course entrance, home, and this is our current location. Okay. Well, we uh Wait, you're you're a golfer, you don't have hands. How do you hold a club? Here, you must be Rexham, right? Sure. Nice to meet you. Now listen up, Rooks. The walking summer is getting started. Get in line, hurry up. Okay. Sure. Look like everyone's here, coach. Welcome, rookies. I like how they just have the big giant arrow pointing at whoever's talking. It feels a bit overkill. I feel like you could have done a more nice solution to indicate who's talking than this. This just kind of feels weird, to be honest. It feels like you constantly have this goal marker, but it's not. It's just someone talking. I'm sure you all know the straight history of our club. But a reminder never hurts. Bunny Green's Golf Village is the birthplace of countless legendary golfers. Okay. Have you all realized how lucky you are to get a chance to write your own chapter in the Bonnie Green story? Sure. I'm the clubhouse manager here, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to this rookie class. Now you've just met our head coach. He has a lot to offer. I hope you take his lessons to heart. After all, he's launched the careers of several top players. Sure. Hey, thanks for that. Now you're all here for a reason. You've got the raw talent to make it in golf. But that doesn't mean it'll be easy. All of you make the most of your potential. But you gotta put in the work. Very well then, I'll go ahead and pass these out. This is called a golf watch, rookies. It'll track your stats, record your scores, and a whole lot more. Come on up and get one when I call your name. Okay. Do we really need to see them give these to all of these others? Alright, last up is Rex. I hear you're a real prodigy, but you're rough around the edges. It's like the fairway. Alright, great, great golf joke there. Alright, that's enough for intros. Go ahead and slap those new golf watches on your wrists. Okay, cool. Just us celebrating? Your data's already in there, like magic. Just press on and make sure it looks right. First screen that comes up should be pretty basic, just your overview and stats and stuff. Don't worry about all the advanced functions right off the bat. Just take your time and get familiar with it. I'm gonna go over the badge system, okay? See where it says steel badge? One day when you reach the top, it might say platinum instead. Okay. So that's the best badge there is, reserved for real pros. Bad thing improving your badge runs through tournaments. Your golf watch will update if you earn a new badge. Okay. Thank you, coach. Now I'd like to introduce you another member of our team who will be helping instruct you. Oh, hi, Toad. Okay. Yada yada. Okay, cool. Oh, Raxmi. Kenny Mons wants to meet up before you head off to practice. Set down the path to the left a bit. Okay. I guess I'm gonna get golf clubs? Okay, so now we can open this. Now we have a map here, which meant the bulletin board was kind of pointless. Unless this never lets us zoom in on anything. We can see our stats. Okay. Equipment. Yeah, we don't have any golf clubs. We just have shoes and everyday golf attire. We can learn how to play. And we have our diary. We're just gonna show events, I guess. Okay. Oh, who's the caddy master? Oh, it's another toad. Yeah, I'm Raxby. Okay, give me give me my gold clubs. Uh, no.
I don't know how I'm a prodigy, but I don't have any golf clubs. Seven. Half set. Okay. You can carry more with a cost in terms of speed. Oh great, okay. We use a house that supports care clubs that fit your play style. They should serve you fine, don't worry, it includes a driver. Let's come back and see when you want to change things up. Okay. Does one of these take good care of these clubs? Yeah. I think that's it, you're fully fast working now. Why don't you try out your clubs at the practice area? Okay, I guess so. Why would my speed matter? I mean, it matters if we're doing the rush mode, but I didn't think we would start the rush mode immediately. Okay, let's try the practice area. Hello. Yes, teach me. Sure. Use the left stick to aim your shot. Press X to see an overhead view of where your shot will land. The inner circle shows where the ball will land. Carry. The translucent border shows where it will roll, run. Okay. The sum of the shots carry and run equal its total distance. This is also affected by shot power, wind, and direction, elevation change, and landing area. Press A to activate the shot gauge, and then press A again to set the power of the shot. Great, let's get started. This is pretty straightforward. We'll be aiming at a target in the fairway with your driver. You need 60 points to pass this lesson. You'll get plenty of opportunities, don't worry. The idea is to hit a tee shot that sets you up for an easy par on the hole. The target represents a great place to end up on the fairway for your next shot. Okay. Sure. If you want to be precise, the blue segment of the target will hit. Will score you the most points. Okay, yeah. Of course, that isn't always the best spot to be. That will depend on the wind, your line, other conditions. Now, aim for the blue area. We'll start with five shots. But don't worry about scoring 60 yet. You'll get five more shots afterward. Okay, so we can do overhead view and say here is fine it doesn't appear like there's actually any wind so i'll just hit like a bit under maximum and then it will land me in the blue yeah that went well Okay, so we just do that again. This might have been... Yeah, way too underpowered. Oh, I didn't mean to already go. Can I cancel out of this? Okay, I can if I just let it go. There we go, 20. So I don't really get how I can like set my aim less than that. I guess this doesn't let me do it. So I just have to know I have to be a bit underneath it. But I'm not sure by how much exactly. Nice shot. At least we're getting nice shots. There we go, we got 40 out of 60. So how did that feel? Were you able to hit the shots where you wanted for the most part? Yeah, I was. Our next we'll hit five more shots, but we're going to get more aggressive and set up for a birdie. Okay. So I want to aim there. And this time I want it to roll a bit further. So I want to nice hit shot. closer to the maximum. So 
so that it kind of like rolls past my maximum. There we go. It's pretty good. Nice shot. Not quite the maximum though, but should still be enough to get the 10 points, I think. Yeah, there we go. We got our 60 points, and I guess we just have to repeat this. There we go. Nice shot. Yep, we keep hitting these nice shots. Nice shot. I mean, I'll take it, but. This feels pretty easy here. Nice. Okay, so we get four coins for that. And experience. Oh, so we get one. How far you can drive the ball? How long you can dash? How fast you can run? How straight you can hit a ball? How much you can spin shape shots? For now, let's just up our power. I think that will be helpful, yeah. probably. You did, you just got six or more. That's a passing grade. Those are some of the best driver shots I've seen, rookie. You really got a hand on this. All right, cool. Keep improving. You need to pay attention about carry and run. Sure. Carry is how far a shot travels until the ball hits the ground. Run is how far the ball rolls after it lands. Press X scene over at view. Yep. The power you set for each shot determines how far it will carry. When your shot can reach the hole, this pin will appear on the gauge. Be sure to factor in run and set the power accordingly. Okay, so when a shot can reach the hole, it will automatically appear. Where do you want me to go? Oh, do I leave this? I guess so. Oh yeah, there's another hammer bro here. Yo, what's up? Sure, I'll take the beginner approach. The approach shot is taken from off the green with the intent to stop the ball on the green. Press Y when using a wedge, P, W, A, W, or S, W to hit a half shot, which travels half the usual distance. In this spot, you can try a bump and run where you chip the ball onto the green and let it roll on where it's going to hold. It's 9 meter to the green and 80 meter to the hole. Every shot lands, it will roll a bit. If you aim for 27 meters, it will end up past the hole. Your shot power determines how far the ball will fly into it. Yep. In this situation, you want to fly the ball about 70% of the way to the hole. After it lands, the ball will roll or run the rest of the way. You can consistently stop your approach shots within 1 meter of the hole. You'll be in great shape to make a lot of points. Try to score at least 10 points. You got 3 shots to do it. Okay. Let's try that. So, we want to do the 32 meter one. Easy hole in one. That was pretty good. Bertil, thank you for the raid. Did you end up getting any PBs? Because you had a pretty good run going on at some point there. Oh no, but I think that one died, right? I'm not sure if you did any runs afterwards. That may have made it. No PB? Dang. Twitch lies, that was more than two people. Yeah, I feel like Twitch has been pretty bad at saying 
numbers lately. Oh, I kind of messed up my aim. Nice. Had a few good runs, but they all died, so a lot of good practice. That's good. Was that easy for you or what? Great work. Let's move on to the next lesson. For this part, we're looking at the same distance as before, about 9 meters from the green, and the hole is 80 meters past that. This time, we have 27 meters of elevation gain to account for. That means you need to sh the shot to carry a little farther, so you use more power. Oh, sweet. We're golfing. Yeah, this is Mario Golf Super Rush, which just released today. So I'm trying it out. We're in the story mode, but obviously that starts with a bunch of tutorial stuff. For the easiest possible putt, try to start while in front of the pin. It's easier to putt uphill than downhill. Interesting. Okay. So... You try to hit it like this. That's in the blue. Oh, but then we don't get the putt. I thought we were going to do some putting. I guess we're still doing approach shots. But I can get it nice. in. We don't get any extra points for that. Wow, you shot that incline who's boss. Maybe I need to find something tougher for you. It's pretty easy to overshoot your target when it's downhill. This will be good practice. It was one meter downhill and 30 meters away, which means you want to ease back on the power a little bit. See if you can stop the roll within one meter of the hole. No drill, score 10 or more points on three shots. Almost same elevation. So we want to stop a little bit shorter here. This is Maybe overshooting it? Nope, that's exactly it. Just perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Okay, and level up. Uh, let's not do power again. Let's try some control. Upgraded. Yeah. Hey, hey. You know, I guess this was too easy for you. Yeah, okay. Oh, you want to do something? Why are you blue and the other one's orange? Let's give up a tough approach shot challenge. I want to start to approach it. Sure, I'll... I'll approach your approach challenge. You have nine shots to get at least 80 points. Take it away. Uh, oh, okay. So I don't want to do a half shot because that's probably not going to be far enough. Unless I do... Oh, this is just standard shot. This is the only thing that can half shot. Let's just try this then. Hmm, we're gonna have to do a little bit better than that. There we go. I think that's a bit too far. Maybe. Yeah, that's a bit over. Oh, this is a different shot now.
Oh, that's uphill way more. Okay, I see. So because we're going uphill, we want to hit this a lot harder. I'm not sure if I can still make it since I missed one of my strokes already. And I needed to get 80 with nine strokes. I think I'm already out of the running. Unless I get extra points for getting a hole in one, but I don't think I do. Rex, we talking about his strokes? Yeah. My strokes are important here. Okay, so yeah, this is our last one and we can't get 14 points, so... Unfortunately, we're gonna fall a little bit short. It should give you bonus points for getting it in the hole, to be honest. Still got some experience. Sure, I'll try that again. Almost same elevation. Ah, no. There we go. Is that good? Eh, not quite. Almost semi elevation, but this is up a bit more. I think I want to hit that a little bit harder. Harder than that, even? Huh. I think I failed that one again. Can I still make this? I can't. Wait, I can. I can actually. I need 25 with three more shots. So we don't want to overshoot this one. This is going to roll downhill. Yep, two more shots to get 15. And one more shot, we just need to get it at least in the orange. And there we go. Nice. Okay. This time we did it. Uh, I'll put... Oh, we can get this to eight. Let's do more power instead. Oh, we can get two points. Sure. Let's do some spin. So sort of upgrading your spin set, your shot gauge now has more curve sections. Uh, no, not right now. Okay. Uh, we need to talk to you next. Putting lessons. Okay. It requires more precision. Yes, let's learn. When putting, you only have to worry about the line and speed. Line is where you aim. Speed is how hard you hit the ball. Okay. Press Y to select between short, medium, and long putts. Choose the distance that best fits your putt. Okay. The grid on the green shows higher elevation in blue and lower in red. Okay. The points of light flow from high to low. Greater elevation change result in more points of light. 
Very shortcuts can be tapped in by simply pressing A. Okay. I'm gonna get food? Alright, Bertel, get some nice food. And uh, thank you for the raid and stopping by. Let's set our target 5 meter from the circle. Try to imagine a 1 meter circle around the cup, okay? Our goal is to get them all to stop just inside that area. To pass, you'll need to score 10 or more points. You've got 3 putts to do it. Okay. Short putt, medium putt, long putt. I guess I want a short putt in this case. And it looks to all be like the same elevation. You just want to hit it? Yeah. All right. Oh, that's a bit over. But that's not a big issue. There we go. Nice. Okay. Seems a bit easy for you. I suppose I'll give you a bit more of a challenge. Looking at a putt of about 5 meter again, but this time the green isn't flat. I'd say it's a baby of 20 centimeters. Pretty much this one says stop winning 1 meter. Then you need 10 or more points. Okay, so this time there is some elevation, and it's upwards elevation. So we're at a lower play. Yeah, it's uphill. So we need to hit it a bit harder. Dang. It's not quite harder enough. There it is. Nice. If you keep pressing, I'm sure you can do even better. On to the next lesson. This is a straight 5 meter putt, same as before, but this one is downhill all the way. So I'm sure I tried to score 10. Okay, so it's gonna roll downhill a lot, so we want to stop it because it's gonna pick up a lot of speed otherwise. So about here. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, we got another level up. Uh, sure, I'll upgrade my speed. Why not? Yeah. I said you mastered the art of downhill putting. Okay. And then you're gonna do a putting yeah. challenge. Sure, I'll take your putting challenge for a spin. We've got nine shots to score at least 80 points. So this is the same elevation. Medium putt, long putt, short putt. Okay. That works. Oh, that's a bit overshot, but might be okay. Yeah, it's still okay. Still same elevation. Okay, now we're putting uphill. Means we want to overheat it a little bit. Didn't quite get that. There we go, I just have to hit it slightly harder. Still the same uphill one. Okay, and now it's downhill. Oh, 
All right, that seems simple enough. We got a near perfect score on this. Um, t -t -t sure, stamina. Because we haven't done stamina yet. Okay, that's everyone. Cool, that seems to be everyone. Let's go now. Can I buy like different clothes at the store? And this is a clubhouse. Wasn't there a store? No, this is a restaurant. Oh, I thought there was a store. Pro shop. Yeah, there is a shop. It says clubhouse, but I think this should be the shop. I can't buy different... Reduces stamina burn when dashing. Reduces speed loss in the rough. Oh yeah, I'm gonna buy this. I don't wanna learn about it right now. But that seems useful. Oh, what are you doing here? Nothing really. Oh, we can get a locker with our name on it. Oh, the clubhouse just connects to the store I see now. Okay, let's go to the golf course. You know what would be fun? If they let you just pick like a basic Mario enemy that you wanted to play as. Like you could pick a shy guy, a Goomba, a Koopa. Whatever, and just play as one of those instead. Yeah. Surprise the basic class already? Good, it's great. Now you're ready to play a few holes. Sure, let's play a few holes. Uh, sure, teach me about shift. Shift can sh Shots can shift based on a variety of facts, including power, lie, and club selection. Shift is displayed next to the shot gauge. After setting a shot's power, shift is determined at random. If you set the shot's power in an area of the gauge with low shift, you'll get more accurate results in terms of both distance and control. The area of the shot gauge with the low shift is called the safe zone, okay. If you set the shot's power in an area of the gauge with a high shift, it'll be much less accurate both in distance and control. The area of the shot gauge with high shift is called the risk zone. The icon will be displayed if you set the shot's power in the risk zone. Did accurate shots, use less power and aim for the safe zone. When in from bad lights, like out of the rough or a bunker, the safe zone will be smaller. The bigger the risk zone, the more likely it is that shift will end up affecting your shot. Longer clubs have a smaller safe zones than clubs that don't hit the ball as far. Consider both safe zones and risk zones when selecting a club and how shift could affect the distance. Oh, I see. You're going to play three holes on the rookie course, finishing five or over par or better to pass. Okay. So finish three holes at plus five or better. Par is four. Ready? So we get four shots here. Why is there a countdown? I have all the time in the world, don't I? Okay, 
Okay, driver seems to be the longest one I can have. Uh, we could take this path. I don't necessarily feel like that's quicker. I think I'm just gonna hit it over here. Oh no, that's... All oh, right, I didn't pay attention to the wind. I see now. The wind carried that a bit more to the left than I would have liked. Let's do it like this. Uh, it's gonna deviate pretty quickly though. I'm gonna hit 82 meters. Ah, that's shifting a little bit, but that should be okay. Don't land in the rough. Wow, of course it would land in the rough for me. That's unfortunate. Dang. Okay, well... Can we put this in? Same elevation. It is moving slightly to the side. Wow. I miss it. Feels bad. Bogey on the first hole. We did so good in practice and we can't put it into practice properly. Oh well, let's pay more attention to wind this time. Ready? Why is there a countdown? I get it if you're doing the rush golf, but we're not. So who cares? This seems like a solid shot. Land on the fairway. Not bad at all. Uh, I could do this, but I have to go through some trees. I could also take it slower. Nah. Let's actually go all in. This seems like a pretty solid approach. Yeah, it rolls a bit further than I would have liked. Um, so approach. It seems that's slightly uphill, right? I think I think we want to do it slightly to the right of it. Nice. That was a good shot. Nice bird. And we're back at plus zero now. Or at zero, I guess. So I just need to finish this under plus five. And this one seems the easiest so far. Although par is also three. Oh, and that landed in the rough. Unfortunate. Okay, we have some uphill putting to do. Oh, 
Oh, I get it. Ah, so we finished exactly par over all three. Nice. I'll take I'll take that. Two levels. Um, t -t 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 I think I want more control. I think that will be good. I have a bit more certainty over where our shots land. Nice, you crossed the test. Great job learning the basics. On to the next challenge, okay? So right now, surprise, for this test, you'll need to complete three L's within a time limit and score well too, okay? Yeah. 10 minutes to finish a par three, a par four, and a par five. And a total score of three over par remaining. You run, have to run after a ball after each shot. Okay. I'll take it from here. Leave the timer and scorekeeping to me. In the next round, you'll be running all over the course. Want me to explain? Sure, explain it. Still, the analog stick to run in that direction. Press A to jump. Press B while running to dash. It's faster than running, but it uses stamina. You can also push opponents out of the way while you're dashing. Okay. Press L when your stamina bar is green to do a special dash. So that you run super quickly. But use up stamina quicker. If you run into an opponent, you can knock in the balance. Okay. When it's time to take a shot, the controls are the same as before. Just remember that you need to run to your ball with the left hand attack and dash with B. Keep now on the stamina gauge. Over plans if you take a break from dashing, try to plan accordingly. Okay. Interesting. This seems like it will be very hectic and fun with friends. But I'm not sure how much I'll enjoy it playing that kind of stuff against computers. Ready? Nice Can I start running? Oh no, I landed in the rough. Putt. So I want to put a bit towards the left. It's slightly downward. There we go. At a par. Next up. That one seems a bit further away. Keep running. Okay, so that's a special dash. Uh, oh, hey, if we hit this perfectly. We'll be on the green. Let's see if it is that perfectly. No, it's on the rough. Of course it will be on the rough. Unlucky. Oh yeah, it had a lot more carry than I kind of expected. Okay, almost same elevation. I will chip it up towards it. Is that in? No, we have to tap it in. Oh, we'll still get a par. Ready? I'm gonna actually hit it here. Oh, did that hit the tree? Looked like that hit a tree. 
Not sure if it did, no. Oh yeah, I think we should... In here. I think that little curve it was gonna give is fine. Now we run slower through the rough and the sand, I guess. Interesting. Wait, does this count as a rough? It does, huh? I didn't want to hit it too hard, but I think I still overhit that. No, I actually didn't. Could have hit it a little bit harder. Almost same elevation. Well, we chipped that in. Chip it. Nice bird. I like how it still made me walk around for a bit. Until it registered to chip in. Oh, well, nice. minus one. That's good. And three minutes, 16 seconds. Okay. Okay, two more levels. Uh, so your stamina ending real quick is kind of annoying. But I'm just going to max out my control. Yeah. Fast, nice work. That means you finished within the timeline and got a nice score. Now you're ready for a qualifying round. Set to the gate behind the clubhouse when you're ready to give it a try. Okay. By the way, even though you can play freely now, don't forget what it took to get here. Keep practicing. Once a student of the game, always a student. Sure. But it doesn't look like I can actually dash when I'm in the overworld. Okay, and now we can play qualifying match. Welcome to the Bunny Green's main course. Sure, qualifying round. Sure, teach me curve shots. In addition to shots power, you can also add curve to avoid obstacles and hazards. After setting the power, use the left stick to add curve before the club hits the ball. Curve right by moving the Alex right or left by curving it left. Alright, a high shot. Yeah, okay. We also choose to reverse these controls. Yeah. Now three different levels of curvature. Yeah. You'll be going with two other players and, so, and there's time limit for each shot, so pay close attention. You'll play all nine holes total and after each shot, you'll need to run to the spot where you're balling it. Cut off here for a tournament, you'll need to score plus four or better. All right, good luck out there. Okay, so there are gonna be other players this time. Playing with me. Finish nine holes at plus four or better. Ready? We're playing with Pink Yoshi and Toad. Let's just immediately start with this. Uh, let's grab all these coins. I don't know what that does, but that seems pretty useful. I'm gonna grab this heart, which should refill my stamina. Yeah. There we go. Is this my ball? Looks like it. Nice shot. Pretty good. I don't know what these coins do. But I'm gonna pick them up. Okay, same elevation. I uh, kind of missed it. Kind of overshot that by a bunch. Uphill now. And we have the wind against us as well. Oh, come on. We're at plus one already, dang. That was bad. Oh, and then we watch them finish this hole before we move on to the next one. 
They also finished at plus one, but they had worse time than me. Does that matter? No? Hmm. Okay. Ready? Nice shot. Yeah, I'm just gonna immediately dash here. Oh, what? They got a nice on? Or did I get... Oh, I got it. Nice. Okay. Almost same elevation. Slightly this. We have some wind against us. Ah, oh, no. Missed. Well, at least we get a par. I think they did too. So we're still tied. I'm finishing fastest though, but it doesn't look like the game cares about that at all. I'm gonna run through all of these. Let's just hit it hard here. Nice shot. I feel like the boost ends so quickly. Seems like it could be a bit more powered and it would be fine. Can I just go with a driver? I think I want to go with a driver. What? I didn't bump in. I feel like that should have bumped into Yoshi more. My dash. Oh, and we landed in the rough too. This is going to be awful. Almost same elevation, but it's a bit down. I think I hit that too hard, maybe. No, that's fine. Oh, we got a par? I'll take it. Oh, it looks like they did too. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Nice shot. Yeah, good shot. Let's just rush immediately. Give me these coins. What are these things? And they're just obstacles or something? They look like giant, like, marbles. Get out of here, Yoshi. I'm gonna use the driver. Why would I not want to use the driver here? Like, it was still more than far enough away, right? Hey, Tobias, welcome in. How are you doing? Grab this. Okay, now we want to start approaching this. Is that a chip in? No, not quite. Well, this is with a shortcut. 
Okay, so I got in. Everyone did, though. No point options for MA, else I would have asked why dragons are stronger than frogs. Well, they're not, so, you know. Can't answer a question that's faulty in its basis. Frogs are definitely stronger than dragons. Because there's never been a dragon that's beaten a frog. And that's how that works. Scientifically proven now. Having multiplayer with AI. This is with AI. I'm trying out the story mode. Um, so yeah, I'm just playing against computers. I think it will be fun to play with friends at some point, but... Probably should learn how to play it properly a bit first. Almost same elevation. I was gonna say that better go in. Plus two and plus three. So we're finally in the lead. But we did get plus one, which isn't ideal. But should be okay still. How did that not bump code? He literally ran through him. Uh, nice. No, I want that hard. Oh my god. Oh wow, we we overshot this by quite a bit. Like we are on the green, but I don't really even feel we're in a better spot than the other two. Same elevation, really? Closer now. Yeah, just got a par. Oh, they took more strokes than I did. We're still at plus one overall, I'm pretty sure. And we need plus four or better. So for now we are doing fine. Uh, we want more this way. There's a lot of wind. But I hope it will land fine. I'm not sure though. That might be bad. Ah, fairway. I'll take a fairway. Thought I would run through them, but I didn't. 
almost the same elevation. Ooh, this is very curved though. Plus the fact that we have some wind. Almost even. There we go. I keep hitting power, which I guess is fine, right? We went one over par on the first hole, but for the rest we've hit par. This is very hard wind against, it seems. But hey, we hit it on the fairway, which I'll take. We have a minute and a half, I guess, to reach your ball. If you just don't reach your ball in time, it's also bad. It's gonna boost immediately again. Uh, we still have very strong wind against. Nice shot. Let's see where this lands. Oh, that seems very close to the hole. Yep, that's it happen. And that gets us another par. They're gonna go plus one. Uh -huh. No, you also hit par. And Toad as well. I feel like we're going over the same course multiple times. But maybe they just put the flag in different places or something. I'm not sure if that's normal in golf. That might be normal. Um, yeah, why would I not want to use my driver? I'm gonna curve that way, that's fine. Oh, that's terrible. That just straight went up into that tree. Are you serious? It hit the tree again? Come on, this tree, man. This tree is actually ruining me. I'm getting such a terrible score on this one. Penalty area? What? How is this not just the rough? I don't know why we can't bump them out of the way. Because it said you should be able to bum them out of the way, and I have not been able to do that. Yeah. Well, that was terrible. Triple bogey. That puts me at plus four immediately. Wow. Well, that's still good enough to qualify, I guess. But yeah, that last hole went poorly. 
Give me some extra power. I don't feel like I need to run fast or anything yet. I feel hitting good shots is more important. Great work in the qualifying round, everyone, and just in time. Bunny Greens open these off tomorrow, and after that result, you're all eligible to enter. Now it's two-day tourney. The first is an elimination round. If you're still in the next day, you have a chance to earn a Chrome badge, but only if you finish in the top three. Okay, neat. Hey, this one's in the bag. Just hand the throw over to Chuck already. Well, I may not hit shots like Chuck, but I'm confident in my strategy. I won't lose. Bold words, but you're bubbling past me as if I'm not even here. I suppose I am a ghost. Hey, good luck, Rook. I mean, you got no shot against us. It's a three-way battle for the win, if you ask me. And I'm asking me. Okay. Um, Chuck could have phrased that a bit more diplomatically, but he's not wrong. Like it falls up. I'm afraid that's when it comes that when it comes to power, strategy, and technique, Rex isn't on our level. Maybe one day, but hey, there's a reason we all play the tournament instead of just handing out a trophy. You're all rookies. Give us one a chance. You might be in a fourth prize tomorrow. And besides, who says you're the favorites? I heard some top players might be making an appearance. Top players, oh come on! Uh, I'd love to see some of the top players in actions. How can we expect to win against top players? Huh, that's more like it. A little more humility goes a long way. But don't worry, the handicap system will make it fair. It's all just about being fair. I want to win. Heard of it, of course, but how will it work? Affects everyone's final score, doesn't it? Not in this tournament. We do things differently. The higher your rank, the fewer clubs you can carry. Trust me, it works out. I only need one club. But that's not stuff for folks who don't crush the driver like I do. Wait, you use a driver to putt? That seems weird. Carrying fewer clubs would be a devastating to my strategy. Well, I don't like the sound of it. Relax, none of you will be playing under those kinds of restrictions. You just worry about getting some rest tonight. Your score in the elimination round carries over to the next day, so you'll need to focus from the first hole onward. Okay. Sure. Rest up in your room. Where's my room? Is it this way? I think it's this way. Wait, does Birdo say anything? Upstairs, huh? Where does Toadette get that room? Oh. So we start the tournament at the gate. Let's see what this tournament is about then. It would be nice to be able to rush as well. Like run. You're scheduled to tee off in 30 minutes. Till then you can brush up your game in the practice area. Please arrive at the entrance gate five minutes before you're scheduled to start. Wait, is it actually gonna time me? Like, why would it say that? It's not actually gonna time you, right? should just give you unlimited time also sheep that's so cute a cute little sheep is there any way i can save my game by the way i guess it's just auto save I guess. Oh, there's two guys here? 
It's like, well, sure. Good, you need to score plus eight or lower. Good morning, hope you're feeling strong. Last chance to practice. Are you ready to start now? Yeah, I'm ready. Plus eight. Okay, and in rain, you have to hit your shots a bit harder. So is this going to be the rush goal as well? Oh, it's Donkey Kong. Good job, Donkey Kong. Hold on, when forward, it looks like there are hearts, so I'm guessing, yeah, next group is up. Ready? And we're playing with Boo and Toad. that hard away from me how did he get there quicker than i did oh we got a draft from you i guess that's neat okay um if we just hit it again i maybe should have hit that a bit harder but I think that's okay. Nice ah, okay. Probably actually a bit less hard. Moving better. And we're uphill. So I just want to hit it over a little bit. Oh, come on. Could have had a minus one. Unfortunate. Wow. Was oh, this their total score? Place one. Oh, but these have already gone the entire thing, right? I guess. Okay, wind against us this time. Pull in an area what looks like a fish. on okay that's pretty good um although they look to have gotten even better shots uh that's a bit up there we go minus one nice it's good stuff Okay, this is a further one. Par is five. Need to make sure I don't get hit any trees. Oh, they didn't hit boo. Like I was hoping it would. didn't get a chance to do another boost. Um, I think we... Mm, I don't want to hit the tree again. But I would like to hit it a bit harder. Nice 
think that's a pretty solid shot. Maybe. Yeah, fairway. I'll take it. Still don't really know what the point is of these coins everywhere. Okay, uh, that is a bit gross. I think I have to do like this. Probably just kind of take like an extra swing just to get around, which isn't really what I would have liked. But uh, the wind is gonna counteract the swing here. Okay, almost the same, but it's actually slightly below. What? How was that not in? Come on, I got robbed. I got robbed. That should have been in. I got robbed. some jump as well i don't know why you would want to jump though i don't know what the advantage of a jump is but i guess i jumped a bunch there anyway I can't jump while I super when it looked like Toad was doing that. So I'm a little confused on how that works then. And Toad seemed to be able to do that, but I can't. Ah. Pincha. Pincha? Hmm. Unfortunate. Oh well. Let's go get the par. I guess as long as I can stay at plus zero, I'll take it. But of course, the later holes are going to be difficult, so. to get some worse hits on those. We'll see though. Maybe I can just keep up my good runs. Mm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna use a driver again and... Uh, Hit it hard. And that might approach the green. Maybe. Fairway eight meters to green. Okay, that's not bad. I right, just that's like what? What? That's so unfair. He hit my ball away. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I had it so well placed and Toad just knocks it out of the way and that's allowed. No one says anything. Nice job. I could have had a minus one there if Toad didn't kick my ball away like a cheater. How's that allowed? How are you allowed to just kick my ball away? Ready? 
I didn't consider the wind. So that might give me an issue. But let's hope I find. I got it on the green, but yeah, I way overshot. Okay. Almost same elevation, but it seems that it is going to be a little bit up. So I probably want to hit it a little bit alongside that. Uh, that's a bit too far. Almost same elevation. This should be in though. Yeah. Keep getting pars, but I guess I'll take pars, honestly. <clears throat> as long as I don't do worse. Ready? See, like Toad and Boo, it looks like they can do like special things that I don't have access to. And when they did those things, they like hit my ball away. That feels a bit fair because I don't have access to the same tools they do. See how this lands. Nice on. Oh, that's pretty close to the hole. Uh, downhill. So we don't want to hit it as hard. Ah, oh, dang it. That curved more than I thought. Guess that's another par for us. But honestly, that's not terrible, right? I mean, I guess it's literally like the expected average that you get. Fifty-two on the fairway still, so that's good. Ooh, um, I think I'm just gonna use this, and I'll just do it slightly off. I think this will work pretty well. Maybe. Did it? Nice huh? Oh yeah, three meters to the hole. That's pretty good. I feel. Don't bump my ball. I was gonna say Toad, you better not. There we go, got a birdie. Oh, Boo didn't do too hot there. Plus three. Okay, last hole. I think as long as we don't get like plus nine or something, we're fine. Nice 
Get bumped, Toad. Get bumped. Okay, uh-huh. I don't know why I wouldn't use the driver again. I feel like there's probably like a good reason to not use the driver again, but I'm not familiar enough with golf to know what that reason is. Because they do give me the other club. Uh, 115. Nice shot. And this will land pretty nicely. I hit the hole. Dang. Not quite in then. Oh yeah, that was so close. Almost same elevation, it's slightly upward. There we go. Nice bird. Okay. Another birdie. Did we finish on months too? That's pretty good. That's the best out of everyone, right? Everyone listed there, anyway. Uh, so maybe upgrade my stamina a little bit. Maybe my run speed a little. And maybe how far I can hit, sure. Okay, rest up in your room. Like, I... I appreciate that they built, like, this little town thing here. And I like these sheep. You know, and it's, it's, it's nice looking. But I don't feel it adds much if it's just gonna keep saying, like, Run to your room. Run to the course, run to your room, run to the course, and that's all there is to it. At that point, give me like some kind of fast travel option. Because making me run back and forth is just not super engaging. I don't know, maybe just me. It's time to get ready for the final. Like, and I get that maybe it's like, okay, this way you're not just forced into doing the next thing immediately, but they could just do it, ha have like a map selection where you just go to different places. If you're gonna add like, an overworld-ish area like this. It should have something added to it. And I don't feel this does. But maybe that comes later or maybe I've missed it. Well, let's try to find a land. Everyone here? This is it, everyone. Get your game face on and go for it. I still don't get how important dashing is. Because you're still judged on your hits. So as long as you make it to your ball in time to take your next hit and your hits are good. Ready? The dash doesn't matter that much, does it? Nice. 
What? What? You actually just hit me with an egg. Oh man, I'm too tired to run. I even have my stamina, but I guess it didn't really do much. This feels like a pretty solid shot. Ah, uh, it just ended when I reached. Okay. Pretty good. Same elevation, so... Should just be a putt. Right this, like this. Yeah, there we go. Birdie, minus three? I'll take that. Or is that because we started at minus three from... I guess we started at minus three from the last time, yeah. Or at minus something, anyway. Minus two, I think. Chuck's ball is a bit further. Don't hit my ball, Chuck. Okay, you didn't. Yeah, I can't jump. Like, they can jump while they do their, like, super run. But I can't. And I'm not sure why. I'm also not allowed to kick their balls. But they were allowed to kick mine. Which also seems unfair. Uh, so it's slightly down. I probably should have just done... Neutral. Or like exactly the power needed for the flag. Could have gotten a minus one there. But I'll take a par, I guess. Yeah, we're still in the lead by quite a bit. Some are a few holes ahead, but... Ready? Okay, so we need to go that way more. be bad I'll be honest that could be bad fair way okay I'll take that uh do I want to hit through the trees and get absolutely baited no thanks I think I already hit the tree a little bit and it didn't do great because of that. Okay, now this is a pretty straight path though. Uh, that's a bit wide. Uh, not too bad. Six meters to the green, that's Okay, I can live with that. Uh, can we chip this in? Almost same elevation. Let's do a half shot. Oh, 
Ah, dang it. In shot. Unlucky. But I'll take another par. Still in the lead. So that is at plus five and Boo is at plus four. Solid shot. Oh, they tried to hit me. I don't appreciate that. Ah, uh, didn't hit Yoshi. I don't appreciate them trying to hit me and then I try to hit them. The irony is not lost on me. Uh, yeah, this just seems pretty solid. That seems pretty close. Yeah, 5.6 meters to the hole. Oh, Yoshi got even closer. Mm, okay, so it is quite a bit downhill. I guess I expected it to be a bit more downhill than it was, but we still got par. I'll take pars. Bars are fine. Ready? Oh wow, this is just immediately within range. You could conceivably get a hole in one in this one. Of course, it is part three, so. We have 5.9. Okay, well, I think Yoshi got a slightly better approach. Also, this is a bit of a gross shot to take, I feel. Eh, I had to correct more than I did. Oh, par again. And they're at plus two now. Ready? Hole 15. Uh, yeah. Nice oh, that might be bad, actually. That might land in the bunker now. No, looks like we're fine. I wasn't sure how much it would have gotten affected by... What? Come on. Don't stun me, bro. Buddy. Pal. Friend. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Oh, uh, How much will that do to it? And how much will that negatively impact, impact me? Not that much, actually. 11 meters to green, that's pretty good. Uh, almost same elevation. Okay, so next shot we will want to... ...be able to put it in. Uh, okay, almost same elevation. I under hit that a bit. That's fine. Got there. Minus three. So three more holes to go. 
We're at minus three. Ready? Oh, this is a holy in three? But we got 6.2 meters to the goal. Oh, we yeah, we actually got it on the green as the only one. Almost same elevation. I think I'm just gonna try a straight shot. Nice. Nice bird. Solid birdie. And they definitely took longer. So we're at minus four now. Two more holes to go. I think it's looking pretty likely that we win this. Ready? If I don't like massively screw this up. I use my super and it bumps me against him because he's using his super? That seems kind of dumb, honestly. That just feels a little dumb, I'll admit. Mm, okay, this is wind against. One meter to the green, so we're just short of landing on the green. <sighs> well, that's unlucky. Can we chip in? Nope, we miss or chip in. And now we're really far away. Almost same elevation though. I'll take the bar. Last hole. Yeah, we're at minus four. The closest near us is plus four. Ready? <laughs> nice shot. I think we'll be okay. 251 meters. And it looks like Charging Chuck did get it a bit closer than we did. But he has a tougher shot lined up because he has to go by some trees and we don't. Which honestly makes things pretty nice for me, I'd say. Uh, although I landed in the rough and he landed in the fairway. So, you know. Guess he had a better shot after all. I don't know how sometimes I run through them. And it doesn't do anything. Alright, 7 meters to the hole. It looks like we're going down, but pretty straight otherwise. And there we go. And there birdie. Minus 5, final score. Pretty solid. 
shy guy at plus 20? I don't know who Ninji is. The rest I recognize most of these names. Koopa Trooper. Donkey Kong, who is a gold medal, by the way. Plus 12. Okay. But hey, we, we won, I guess. So that's me. Batch improved from steel to chrome. And you've won 1,000 coins. Nice. Your special dash improved. Okay, that's good. Um, I haven't really been using spin, so I feel like I shouldn't do that. I'm going to put two in this and two in this. Uh, actually, we put one more in this. One more in power instead. Now they want me to head to Ridge Rock Lake. Okay, auto save there. Which I guess is the next area. First time champ, enjoy this moment, but no things are only getting started. Okay, sure. Also, nice ring. Must be exciting to have a new scores available. You know you can play the Ridge Rock Lake, Lake course now that you've got a Chrome Badge, right? Check your golf watch. I mean, check it. Alright, no matter how far you go, you're always one with the racer. Okay, sure. Whatever you say, Birdo. So I guess now this path is available. And that gives me a new overworld area then? Yeah, okay. So there are like different overworld areas with their own course. Finally, glad you could join us, Rexby. Congrats on the Chrome Badge. Bet you can't wait to get started on earning the Bronze Badge next. Well, too bad. The course is a mess. Got a lot of this. Go on, tell them what you told me. Well, perhaps you heard about the big storm the other day. Freddy did quite a lot of damage to our course. There won't be any tournaments for a little while. The good news is that there's still plenty a form of golf we can play. Have you heard of cross-country golf? Some folks might call it XC golf for short. Believe it or not, XC golf goes way back. It's a form of the game that many of the top players have mastered. Some of the really high level players can still play our course even in this state. It's remarkable to see them in action. Of course, they can use special shots, so it's not exactly fair. Maybe you saw Mario in the televised tournament the other day. I'm sorry, you've already seen special shots in action. Some of them are so powerful they can affect other players and blast their golf balls out of the way. You can knock someone else's ball around without getting a penalty? Oh, I gotta get in on that. If I could use the energy and hit special shot, I'd teach it myself, but I'm afraid that's beyond my role as a greeter. No more bad for me, I'm a tremendous fan of the game and I love my job. And I can fly. A little bit, anyway. Great, okay. Anyway, I hope you give XC Golf a try. As long as you're moving forward, pretty much anything goes. Good luck. So, I guess that's like environmental golf. Can I buy like new clothes I actually like? Reduces stamina burn during special dashes. I wasn't equip it? I don't know why it wouldn't equip it. No, I wanted... I'm literally not allowed to go in the thing. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna just dress up in something else, I guess. I see. Mm. 
you to the rocks, and that's it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to main menu. Hopefully it saves. Okay, yeah, now we have Rich Rock Lake available. So if we just play golf now at any point, and we do standard golf, We can just play Rookie Course, the Bonnie Greens, and then Rich Rock Lake. And there's only three more? Just six, six courses? That seems a bit underwhelming. I mean, this course seems cool. Like it has wind and enemies and stuff, but... Kind of expected a bit more. Oh, and you can play as yourself or as any of the others. You can only pick standard club set. You can change their dominant hand. And that's it. Oh. Okay, and they have like different stats, of course. Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool. And what's in solo challenge? Shoot for the lowest score over 18 holes. Shoot for the lowest time. Okay, but that's just the same as just playing regularly. Clubs at standard 16 out of 16, star 0 out of 16, superstar 0 out of 16. We've had 8 birdies, no eagles, albatrosses, or holy ones yet. But that is possible, and it shows it per character as well. Oh, and at 1000 character points, you unlock other things. Uh, and since we've played 3 holes and 1 match, we have... 30 character points so to unlock the other club sets you just need to play as the character a lot i guess i see score attack stats which i mean we don't really have any courses i i guess this shows us our best scores and things like that okay Oh, you can switch between button and motion control. I see. And the options just has that again. Huh. Okay. I mean... Part of me kind of expected there to be a bit more to this. Like, maybe more courses than just six. Especially since... Like, the first one... Like if I pick Mario, like the rookie course kind of feels very similar to Bonnie Green's visually and everything. So to then only have six. Oh, this next one is going to be Sandy course. And I don't know yet what the others are going to be. It's probably going to be like a lava course, Bowser based or something. Oh. It plays well though, like the golf plays pretty well, so I'm definitely down to play some more of this. Um, and maybe try to play this with some friends, if any friends I know get this. Because I think that can be a lot of fun as well, just playing with AI wasn't like super exciting. But I'm curious. And I haven't learned everything about the speed golf stuff, or the rush golf. Like there are the special shots and things like that they wanted to tell about which might be related to like Luigi ice skating and yeah what Mario does there with the star so there's probably still more to discover but I mean it seems like a solid golf game at least Mario golf game maybe not the best ever but you know a solid enough entry 